Wow. Illuminating moments in American history. We gobble jelly beans by the handful. But what are they exactly? Well, inside that candy shell, masquerading as a bean, is a gummy mix of... Okay, it's basically sugar. With some wax and fruity flavor. Mm. Candy historians... Man, people get paid for that? Uh, believe that the bean's great-great-grandpa was Turkish delight. A confection from biblical times that includes real jelly in the middle. But a more modern version surfaced in 1861, when a Boston baker urged citizens to send the tiny sweets to Civil War soldiers. By the early 1900s, the term had become slang, referring to a handsome young fellow with no inner substance. Am I the only one that just thought of the Easter Bunny? Anyway, when America hit hard times during the Depression, the gummy treat revealed its true colors. It was a favorite penny candy, deliciously affordable. Especially when America experienced a homeland chocolate shortage during World War II. Since then, the bean has journeyed where few other candies have gone before. From millions of Easter baskets to being thrown at the Beatles on stage. You know, it turns out that what the Fab Four actually liked was softer, less painful when thrown British candy called Jelly Babies. Oh. President Reagan's affection for the candy inspired Jelly Belly to create the blueberry bean just for his inaugural. And yes, they've even been in outer space. The weightless sweets, now wouldn't that be nice, floated along on the Challenger's 1983 trip, perhaps chased around by America's first female astronaut, Sally Ride. And that's an illuminating moment in American history.